Hi everybody, welcome to this Kali training recorded webinar. Today we're going to be talking about maintaining your F1 status. This is highly important information, so make sure you pay close attention and note that all of this information is also listed on our website for future reference. Welcome, I'm your host, Trevor Brandt. This is my dog, Tango. I'm an international student advisor with the OISS, and I'm so excited to welcome you to UCSB. So what does the OISS do? Which, of course, the OISS stands for the Office of International Students and Scholars. We specialize in immigration advising and processing for F and J visas. We advocate for international students and scholars at UCSB, UC-wide, and to Congress. We provide events, presentations, and other programs for the international community. We maintain UCSB's ability to bring international students and scholars to campus through compliance with U.S. government. We liaise with various government agencies and NAFSA, the National Association of International Educators. We refer students and scholars to appropriate resources. What doesn't the OISS do? We are not responsible for academic advising or course registrations, housing assistance, immunization or medical clearance determination, transcripts, diplomas, or declaring graduation, or advising on any other country visa requirements. As always, OISS is happy to refer you to resources, but we encourage you to search the UCSB website using keywords to find help directly for a quicker response. We also would recommend to not search for uh, these queries on a general Google search as they might have old information um, on the Google pages that you know might have been archived in the past. So make sure you, when you're looking for information, you go through the official UCSB websites. Here's a UCSB fun fact. Um, what you see on the, this person's feet is natural tar <clears throat> that appears on Santa Barbara beaches. Um, if you're walking on the beach with uh, bare feet or maybe even with shoes on, um, you can use baby oil to get the tar off easily. I don't know if that works on shoes, but it definitely works on feet. So here's a few common terms that you might hear um, when dealing with uh, immigration uh, in the United States. Uh, the Department of State is a government agency that's responsible for visas. Customs and Border Protection, otherwise known as CBP, are responsible for entry to the United States. Uh, the Student and Exchange Visitor Program, otherwise known as SEVP, oversees Student and Exchange Visitor Information System, which is known as CVIS, where the I-20s are created and OISS has access to this database. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, otherwise known as USCIS, are responsible for authorizations within the United States, such as employment authorizations. And designated school officials, uh, DSO, uh, this is the immigration title of your OISS advisor. The I-20 is your F-1 immigration document. This is issued by OISS using the CVIS database. Do not let it expire while studying. If you change your major or name, request an updated form from OISS. The F-1 visa is issued by the Department of State. This is only used for entry to the United States. If it expires while in the U.S., that is okay. You will still hold legal F-1 status as long as your I-20 is active. You can renew your visa when you're outside of the U.S. if it expires. The I-94 is issued electronically by CBP at the port of entry or the border. Always check your I-94 record when you arrive in the United States. The class of admission listed on the I-94 should always match the visa type you used, F-1. The admit until date should always be DS, which stands for duration of status, expiration date of your I-20.
All requests you may need to make to our office can be found in UCSB Global. Familiarize yourself with the types of requests and forms available so that you know where to look. UCSB Global is our online request platform and can be found through our website. We welcome any feedback about UCSB Global and are always happy to make any changes within our control to make it a better experience for you. The QR code below links to our webpage that has all you may need to know about the basics of maintaining your status and other information covered in detail in this presentation. Bookmark it for future reference. Here's another UCSB fun fact. The UCSB Arts and Lectures series brings in world-class entertainers, academics, politicians, and other prominent figures to Santa Barbara. Tickets for students are generally at discounted prices of $25, may vary depending on event. Events are hosted at UCSB or downtown Santa Barbara, so they're a great excuse to go downtown for a night out. Maintaining undergraduate academic status. You must be enrolled in at least 12 units every quarter. You cannot be enrolled in less than 12 units unless authorized by OISS. If you are having difficulty maintaining 12 units, discuss with academic advisors and OISS immediately. You cannot be enrolled in less than eight units unless authorized by OISS. If you are having difficulty maintaining eight units, Discuss with your department and OISS immediately. Failure to enroll in the minimum unit requirement will result in termination of your student immigration status and you must immediately depart from the United States. Academic integrity is a concept that means that anything you submit, assignments, projects, essays, must be your own original work. In addition, any information you provide to the university must be true and accurate, whether it be a documentation of illness a late, or a late drop petition. This QR code links to the Academic Integrity Information page. You must be aware of UCSB's policies regarding academic integrity. You need to uphold these expectations and ignorance of these policies is not an excuse. If you're ever in doubt, ask your professors or teaching assistant. You can look at our website on the resources page to find the academic integrity section. Academic integrity is monitored by professors. Violations have immigration consequences. Respecting different ideas and opinions is a First Amendment right to all students, regardless of visa status or citizenship. UCSB is a public institution that allows all faculty, staff, and students to engage in respectful debate. Refrain from threatening other gauchos, including threats to report to home country government. Racism, bias, or other forms of discrimination are unacceptable and should be reported using the UCSB Bias Reporting webpage. This QR code links to the UCSB Bias Reporting page. Here's another UCSB fun fact. The UCSB Recreation Center offers adventure programs where you can go on camping, hiking, or day trips around the area. There's also a trailer near Campus Point that offers inexpensive water sports equipment as well as surf lessons. Scan the QR code here to go to the Recreation Center website. On-campus employment for F1 students. No special authorization required and you only need to fill out the on-campus employment e-form in UCSB Global if you need a social security number. This is limited to 20 hours per week during the fall, winter, and spring quarter. You can work on campus over 20 hours per week on official school breaks and summer quarter. On-campus employment means that your paycheck comes from UCSB. When in doubt, make sure to ask an OISS advisor. On-campus jobs are posted on Handshake, an employment website offered through Career Services. Feel free to scan this QR code to be linked to the F1 Employment Information page. 
off-campus employment for F1 students. One of the options for off-campus employment is curricular practical training. This is only available after completing one academic year at UCSB. You must be authorized by OISS before starting any kind of off-campus employment. You should start the process early to avoid delays. You'll need to speak with your major department advisor or graduate department advisor first. Make sure to scan this QR code here for additional information about CPT. The other option for off-campus employment is optional practical training. You can only apply for this at the end of your degree program and allows you to work past your graduation. Keep this in mind for the future. Here's our last UCSB fun fact. This bathroom in Bren Hall was voted number one bathroom to use before you die, because just look at that beautiful view. Travel. You can request a travel signature through UCSB Global, and your OISS advisor will email you the I-20 for you to print out. F1 travel signatures are valid for one year. Going to another country? Make sure to review requirements before traveling. You'll need to ensure your F-1 visa is still valid when you plan to return to the United States. Here are some campus resources for international students. Campus Learning and Assistance Services offers academic support and tutoring to students. Counseling and Psychological Services offers therapy and other mental health resources. Housing and Auxiliary Services handles all things housing. You can speak with Student Health about your UC Student Health Insurance Plan. The Recreation Center is a great place to work out and do other fun activities. The Associated Students Food Bank offers free food to students in need. Scan the QR code for links to all resources. Thanks so much for watching this presentation. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to assist you. Again, all this information will be very important during your entire time here at UCSB. You want to make sure to follow all immigration regulations during your time here, or you could risk negative immigration consequences affecting you in the future. And remember, all of this information is listed on our website. We're so excited to welcome you to UCSB. You can contact us below and make sure to follow us online at the following links. Thanks again.